Many of you are already on testosterone replacement therapy and have already found out what works best for you as far as the type of testosterone, the dose, and the frequency. But if you're looking to start testosterone replacement therapy or you might be trying to adjust your protocol to get a little bit better results, stick around and we'll discuss some of these things. Hey everyone, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out our Facebook group, TRT Veteran, and see what other people are doing with their testosterone replacement treatment. Per this website, studies have shown that there's been a steady decrease in testosterone in men as early as 30. The rate of low total testosterone in men 45 years of age or older has been estimated as high as 39%. I found out at 29 years old that I had low testosterone and I likely had it for several years. I was only at a level 155 total testosterone, which is the equivalent of a 90 year old man's. The general consensus for normal testosterone level in men is between 300 and 1000 nanograms per deciliter per this website. And now after two years of working with my doctor and being on testosterone replacement therapy, I finally hit a total testosterone number of 1200 and I am feeling absolutely great. Now that normal range is a very large range for your total testosterone. So if you want more information on that, check out my other video, Normal vs. Optimal Labs, if you're wanting more info. Personally, my doctor at Matrix Hormones says that a majority of his patients feel optimal between 800 and 1200 total testosterone. So it's extremely important that you talk to your doctor and get them to treat you as an individual as opposed to just getting you to a certain number. There are many reasons that you may want to have a higher level of testosterone more into that optimal range. And some of those reasons are improving depression, better performance in cognitive tests, which would be kind of like reducing brain fog, gains in muscle strength, increase in bone mineral density, and cardioprotective effects. And according to PubMed, there are a lot of men that report increased libido and erection quality, including myself. Another reason I love testosterone replacement therapy is the increased energy, the body recomposition, and the weight loss. If you've followed my channel for a while, you've known that I've lost over 100 pounds while on TRT and I have been feeling great and I look way better. There are so many causes of low testosterone, but some of them may include chronic illness. The pituitary gland does not produce normal amounts of some or all of its hormones. Problems with the areas of the brain that control hormones, low thyroid function, diseases of the testicles, benign tumor of the pituitary cells that produce too much of the hormone prolactin, too much body fat, sleep problems, and ch chronic stress. My doctor believes that my low testosterone was mostly caused by the chronic stress that I had while serving in the Marine Corps. Now there's many types of testosterone that you may be getting introduced to. Various types are pellets, injections, and creams. I am on the injectable type of testosterone and that seems to work best for me. Doctors will prescribe testosterone at many different frequencies. Some still only prescribe it once every two weeks, however that's a little bit outdated. There are doctors out there that believe that your injection frequency should depend on the individual person. Many doctors believe that injecting once weekly or even daily, which is called microdosing, is a better way to inject because it'll keep your testosterone levels more even throughout your body as well as help reduce side effects. For me, I prefer the microdosing method where I take my dose and I split that up over five days. One important note of testosterone is its half-life. The half-life is only eight days when injected intramuscular. Some doctors may think it's fine to get injected once every two weeks. However, that is a good way to have a roller coaster effect on your hormones where you start out with a very high dose of testosterone. However, by one weekend, you're already at 50% testosterone remaining in your body. And that's why my doctor has me doing the microdosing technique. I'm injecting my dose in five mini doses five times a week to help avoid that roller coaster effect and keep my testosterone level more level all week long. I strongly recommend talking to your doctor about testosterone replacement therapy and if you don't get the answers you like, I am very big on advocating for yourself and your own health. There's plenty of options out there to get the information you need to be able to help 
advocate properly for yourself. And if you're wanting more information on the complete lab work that will be required, I have a video on that, so feel free to go check that out. If you're still unhappy with your doctor or the results you're getting, I strongly recommend you check out Matrix Hormones. That's who my wife and I use, and we have been nothing but happy with them. And if you let them know that TRT Veteran sent you, they'll also give you a discount. If you're curious on any of the information that I've talked about during this video, we'll make sure we add all the links to every source that we use down below. Feel free to check that out. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.